How's it going, boys? My name is Schlatt, and welcome back to Inbox, the show that's about working your life away for Jeff Bezos. <laughs> Today, we've got one question, and one question only. It comes from a kid who works a fast food job, and he's not really sure what to do. Hey, Schlatt, I work at a fast food restaurant, and I'm not allowed to stop due to my parents not letting me, and I'm 16. I feel like I'm getting in everyone's way. I feel flustered and empty because I don't get anything out of it other than money. I want to enjoy my job, but I just can't find enjoyment in it. Any advice? Yes. Yes, I have lots of advice for you, my friend. Um, I don't know how many times I've talked about it. I don't know how many times I've beat the dead horse into the ground to where it's just a rotting carcass. But uh, I worked in a deli from age 14 to 18. It was some four or five year stretch um, where I'd work a couple days a week. And uh, it was not enjoyable at all, my friend. I had to, um, you know, among other things that I that I remember quite fondly from this job are uh, having to mop up multiple inch deep pools of grease. Uh, I stood in a freezer basically the whole time, hours a day, uh, stocking shelves in like a winter coat, like a parka. And I was paid five dollars an hour when I started just under the table, uh, straight in cash, five bucks. Um, I remember one time when I was, uh, very new to the position, this was probably the same month. Cause I remember I started in, in winter of, of sophomore year in high school, there was a blizzard going on and he, my boss, who is not a bad guy, but he was just a cheapskate, you know, uh, he called me and he said, Hey bud, I know it's not your work day, but could you come in and shovel the entire front of the place? And I said, yes, because I was a new employee. I wasn't going to like make a bad impression. So I, uh, so I, so I said yes. And I came in and I shoveled the entire place, which took lightly speaking hours, hours to do. It was freezing. It was snowing. And towards the end, my boss met me at the shop. Uh, he opened it because everything was closed, right? Like school was closed. The, the shop was closed. So, uh, he met me there and he opened the shop and he let me in and let me, let me warm up. And he's like, Hey bud, you hungry? And I'm like, yeah, sure. I'll have a sandwich. It's, that's very nice of you to, uh, to ask. And, and he says, all right, cool. And he goes back into the deli area and he makes a sandwich and he gives me half of it. And I take the sandwich and I go to the, uh, the drinks that I spend hours a day sitting in a freezer stocking. And I, I open up the, the door and he hears this and he looks over and I feel his eyes on me <laughs> and uh, and I look over to him and he and he just he stops and he shakes his head and he says, no, <laughs> he literally said, no, no, that's not for you. That that drink isn't for you. You didn't just shovel like that. Uh, so I didn't get a drink. I ate I ate my sandwich on the counter and then I went home. <laughs> so that that was a, that was a great first experience for the job again. I don't hate my boss. I still don't hate him, even after I realize, you know, what 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 kind of stuff I went through. I don't hate him. He's just a cheapskate, you know, and that's how those kind of people operate, especially when they're running a business, you know. I don't hold that against him. Why was I there? I was there because I stopped doing baseball. The year before, I was on the baseball team, and it was, quite frankly, it was just too much. It was too much for me to do. I'd be getting home at, like, 9 o'clock every night. I was not able to get all my work done. I was getting up early. Um, and I was kind of miserable the whole time. So I decided, Hey, I'm not going to do it next year. And my mom was like, if you're not going to be active, you know, you, you're going to start working, bud. So she made me start at this deli and it was a local place. So I could, I could walk there. I didn't need anybody to drive me or anything. The point is I wouldn't have worked there if I wasn't forced to much like your position, right? Your parents are making you do it. You're 16. You, you're, you're, you don't need the money for anything. You don't like the work. There's a lot of parallels I can draw here. And I quit, you know, five years in after I quit looking back, I'm kind of glad I worked there. Not because I enjoyed it. Not because it was like a fun experience for me. I hated having to do it in the moment. I hated having to get up every weekend where I'm like, all right, well, this is the time when I can finally, you know, sleep in. No, I had to get up and go to work. You know, the job itself was not good, but in doing it for so long, I gained perspective of, of a lot of different stuff. You know, one of the things it taught me is what customer service employees go through on a day-to-day -day basis. How poorly I was treated, not just by, you know, a cheapskate boss or asshole employees, but the actual people who went to the shop and like would get mad that I'm there mopping the floor or like in their way trying to stock shelves. It just kind of puts you in perspective, you know, and now I feel like I'm, I'm pretty kind 
to people who do the same stuff I do. Like if I walk into a McDonald's, I'm not going to give the cashier a hard fucking time because I know <laughs> that he's not, he, that he doesn't want to be there. Not only that, but it taught me, I guess, kind of how to work as a part of a bigger team, like a bigger picture. And it's kind of how team sports work. But I, I realized that what I'm doing is kind of, you know, important to the whole machine here. You know, I stayed at that position for a long ass time. I watched pretty much everyone who worked there uh, <laughs> leave at some point. When I put in my notice to my boss, I had to, my next few shifts were just like training people for hours a day on how to fill my shoes. And, and hey, it was kind of cool. You know, I realized how important what I was doing was as, as inconsequential as it seemed. Another thing it did was it taught me when it was time to quit. And this isn't like a fuck you story where I'm like, I, I made my grand exit and cursed out my boss and all that. But I, I realized that what I was doing just wasn't worth it for me anymore. And when I put in that notice to my boss, uh, you know, he tried to guilt me. He said, oh, you know, we're, we're, we're low on, on staff. You know, we need this. We need that. Uh, summer's going to be real, real tough without you. And I, I stood up for myself and I'm like, no, this is this is it. At this time, I was making more money on live streaming. I was doing a, a Friday live stream, which was pulling in more revenue than an entire week of, uh, of stock and shelves was. So it, it was time and it, I knew it was time and it helped me gain that sense of, of doing the right thing for myself and looking after myself. That's what I'd say you might get out of it, even if you're not enjoying it. It is absolutely more than just a paycheck. You just might not realize that right now. And even if you you refuse to accept everything I just said, then that amount of money, however much you're making, that's means to an end. I'm sure you're interested in things, right? Use that money to invest in the things you care about. Buy fucking Clash of Clans gems. I don't give a fuck, right? It can be used on things that will fulfill you, right? And, and hey, even better idea. If you're really on this bit of, I don't need money, put it away. Invest it in something. This is just to give you an idea, right? Say you make $10 an hour, which I'm guessing is pretty normal for a fast food chain. Say you work 20 hours a week, which is really doable. I worked like 25 plus hours in college. So every week you're making 200 bucks. Say you spend 100 bucks a week on, on OnlyFans, right? You're jerking it to Belle Delphine every night. That's fine, fine. You don't care about the money, right? You don't care about the money. It's, it's fucking fairy dust, right? Doesn't matter. Take the other half and put it into an investment thing. Put it into a Roth IRA. Put it into... Just a, just an index fund, like the rate of return on the S&P 500 over, over the past 90 years has been like 10%, right? Take that $100 a week and put it away into something other than a savings account that's just going to collect dust and give you money back below the rate of inflation. You're 16 now. By the time you're 21, you are talking tens and tens of thousands of dollars, like, like, high 30s to $40,000 here, as opposed to just storing it away and making a hell of a lot less. Like that is money you earned from just putting it away and getting older and, and fucking jerking off every night. Like you, you, there's no effort to get it. I, I, I was talking earlier today to a YouTuber friend of mine who's pretty young. He knows who he is and he's saying the same exact thing. He's like, I don't do it for the money. You know, I, I, I don't know what to do with the money. It's just sitting there. You know, I'm not, I don't, I don't need to be making what I make. Put it away, put it away, invest that shit, man. You have no idea how much you're, you're missing out on and how, how young you are, how much potential you have and how much of a leg up you can have over literally everybody else who, you know, who does the same fucking thing of like, Oh, I don't need, I don't need money. I don't, fuck that dude. I'll just get a job later. Now's the time when I got a party, dude. Now's the time when I got to live. I hate that shit so much, man. Look out for yourself. It, it, it makes no logical sense for you to not care about your future right now because right now is when you can make the biggest difference to helping it. And that's all I have to say. This was a, this was a very, very long response to a simple question of, I don't like my job. I work at McDonald's and I'm 16. I, I hope you got something out of it, man. I really hope you do. I hope you, I hope you write back to me five years later and I'm like, oh, you know what? Maybe it was a good idea to put that money away. And I, and I realized that and I stopped paying a hundred dollars to jerk off the fucking Belle Delphine every month. And I started putting that away and then my, my shit quadrupled, you know, hey, hey man. I'm just very passionate about this stuff, uh, and I'm sure you can probably tell. Anyways, that's about it. That's about it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed. There is a new feature that's been enabled on the channel called Memberships. 
uh, which means you can join the channel for five dollars a month and all your comments will have a little flare next to them to let everybody know that you are very cool and wealthy uh and <laughs> and like what i'm doing around here so uh yeah hopefully soon i will have a lot more for the weekly slap big things boys big things think big thank you for watching and i will talk to you again soon peace